Hey peoples, what's going on? It's DJ Show One King Legend coming at you here with another video. Alright, so I know it's cold in many states and if you're having problems with your car uh, not starting or whatever the case may be, um, your battery is being drained overnight by the cold weather. Alright, I have a quick tip for you, a quick device that will help you. It's helped me for many years. I've had this device for probably about two years now. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, show you what I do to maintain my battery during uh, cold weather. All right, so I do have a sound system in this vehicle, so my battery is not always 100%, all right? So uh, let me show you what I got going on. All right. All right, so it's a little device called the uh, NoCo Genius One. So this is a battery maintainer. It basically charges your battery until it's fully charged and you will get a green light and it just maintains it at that full charge capacity. No matter what the temperature drops to, it will maintain that battery uh, to its full capacity. Overnight, for a week, whatever, you can have this thing plugged in for a whole week if you want, if you're not driving the vehicle. And when you're ready to go, just plug it out and your battery will be fully charged, okay? So like I said, I have a sound system in this vehicle and I don't drive but maybe 30 minutes per day sometimes and the vehicle will sit for three or four days and the battery will be uh, a little bit drained all right so on like 20 degree days like it is today my battery was a little bit uh, hesitant you know the engine was a little bit hesitant to start so I figured that um, it was time to put this on I usually do it during the winter anyway at least every every other week or so I'll plug it in for a day or two and let it just uh, fully charge up because I do have a regular alternator. I didn't get a high output al alternator as yet. So um, with uh, two amplifiers and I play this thing pretty loud so uh, it does drain my battery. And like I said, I don't drive it but maybe 15 minutes go and 15 minutes come back here and there. All right, it's my work truck. But it's also good for uh, cars with bigger batteries like Mercedes um, I do charge this up well I used to now I have a brand new battery so I really don't have to tend to it as much but um, but for the most part if I needed to I can plug it in for a couple of days and my battery will be back uh, to brand new okay so um, this is a very good battery this is a die hard so uh, and this is the platinum so this is a good battery anyway but um, the sound system does drain it from uh, time to time. So uh, this little thing right here, they do have um, stronger ones. But this is uh, 6 volts to 12 volts. And it can do uh, AGM, uh, like Mercedes use AGMs. And uh, most newer cars, they have uh, AGM. Um, but this is a regular 12 volt. So it automatically will set to... Um, whatever, once you first plug it in, it will go to its setting, but you can change it by hitting that little button. Okay, so there is a little button uh, right there that you can change the settings. All right, but it's a smart, um, smart charger, so you don't have to worry about um, it uh, sparking out on you or anything like that. It won't spark. And even if you make a mistake, if you're like, not car savvy and you do put the red on the black or the black on the red you don't have to worry about it it's just not going to work all right so um it's pretty smart in that sense uh, it's kind of foolproof so you know your black and then your red and when you're taking it off for the red then the black or whatever the case may be but you can double check on that all right but um this device has helped me out for probably about maybe two years now i've had it or so going on three years I've been using this but um it's good you just plug it up use a yellow wire um, I have mine's plugged up on the outside outlet so um, and I close the hood down as tight as I can get it even if I can get it to lock that's good so even if it rains no water gets in there but um you know you work it work it out however you need to work it out um, a lot of guys with show cars that they don't drive their cars they will use something like this all right some people call them a battery tender but um it's called a battery maintainer here 
All right, and uh, you can get these on Amazon. I'm going to put a link. I'm going to go ahead and put the link in the description. So you can just go ahead and click on it and get the one that I have if you like. If not, they do have a step up, which is a little bit bigger for if you have like trucks with a big battery or something like that. Or you just want a faster charge. All right, this one here sometimes take overnight. Um, they do have a more stronger one that you can use that will charge it in faster time. And um, even if your battery is kind of dead, you can plug it in and you can get a quick boost to be able to start your car. All right? Because if uh, if you jump start your car regularly and um, you still don't drive it every day, that battery still has a chance of running down. So this is where this comes in and it will fully charge your battery versus jump starting it. So it'll be like having a new battery, all right? Versus jump starting it. You go to the store, come back, and your battery is dead. Because you need at least 45 minutes of uh, of uh, continuous drive where you're going to speed at least 55 miles an hour or so to kind of charge your battery up at a good percentage, you know, maybe 75% or so. It still won't get fully charged, you know, anything over an hour or more, you possibly could get a fully charge. So, um, especially for folks that has like Mercedes or European cars, you know, and they consider not driving their car every day that's actually the worst thing for your vehicle because uh, these cars like to be driven you know at least every other day or so because if you don't uh, those modules and everything will go to sleep and give you a nightmare okay you'll have more problems not driving these cars you know what i mean every day or every other day you know versus letting them sit so a lot of people will have these cars sit and then when they finally decide to drive it after two weeks, then they're like, oh, why is this light on? Why is my, uh, my car acting up? That's because it doesn't like to sit, all right? So you got to drive these cars, all right, to maintain the battery and the electrical system. And um, this little thing right here is great, all right? So I don't need to jump start with this thingy. All I do is plug it up for, for a day, and it's like I have a brand new battery. Oh, and um, when you first plug it in, it will be red. That means your battery is not 100%. But after it's uh, fully charged or whatever the case may be, you'll get a green light. All right, which tells you that um, you're ready to go. You can unplug it. But I'm gonna go ahead and just leave this um, plugged in because we're supposed to have another couple of uh, uh, below 32 degree days, whatever, going in the teens. So I won't be driving it for another day or two. So I'm just gonna leave it plugged in. But I just figure I would just give you a little quick tip, a little quick little device that will help out someone, I hope, that's uh, in need of a quick battery fix versus going to go buy a brand new battery. You can just go ahead and uh, maintain it yourself, all right? And you just leave it plugged in for a day or two or whatever the case may be until you're ready to drive and you don't have to worry about a dead battery in the morning, all right? So... It's DJ Show One King Legend. I'm signing out on this one. Catch you on the next video. Don't forget to like and share and share the knowledge, please. Thank you. It doesn't cost anything.